Hey, I'm Pastor Colin, and I'm excited to welcome you to Kids Worship today. We're here to worship and sing and learn about God's big story. God's big story is all about love. God created this place that we call Earth, and He sent angels and prophets to be messengers to tell us about His amazing story. And when our sins separated us from God, He sent His Son Jesus so that we could be forgiven. God wants us to be friends with Him, and He invites us to be in a relationship and to ask Him to be in our hearts. We love others because He loves us, and the Bible tells us the story of God's never-ending love for all people and how He wants to be with us always. We all get to be a part of God's big story. This month, we get to learn about how Jesus came to hang out with people. Jesus made special friends that He calls disciples. Those were people that followed Him and to learn about God, and He wants us to do the same. Jesus was friends with people from all over, people who were young and old, people who were sick, and people who others didn't really like. You see, when we learn about Jesus, we learn that He cares for everyone. Have you ever thought about what makes a good friend? Well, Jesus is the best kind of friend that we can have because He's always there for us. Maybe think about a time this week when you can spend time with Jesus and hang out with Him because Jesus loves to hang out with us. It says to me, it tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how J E S U S came down to us and gave his best. Without a doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. Our God knows exactly what I need, so I'll remember this. Let's go when you ask. He cares when you seek, He's there. And when you knock, 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 God opens up the door. And when you ask, He cares when you seek, He's there. And when you knock, 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 God opens up the door. What it says to me It tells me that I'm never ever alone I'm learning how J-E-S-U-S Came down to us and gave his best Without a doubt the best friend you'll ever know Our God knows exactly what I need So I'll remember this Let's go When you ask, he cares When you seek, he when you knock, 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 God opens up the door. When you ask, He cares. When you seek, He's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. Our God knows. Our God knows exactly what I need. So I'll remember this. Let's go. When you ask, he cares when you seek he's there and when you knock 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 god opens up the door when you ask he cares when you seek he's there and when you knock 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 god opens up the door amen singing 
about how God sent Jesus to save us. Hmm, God is going to save us. What does that mean? Like, I save money in my piggy bank? One, two, three. Not that type of save. Hmm, maybe save it? Like, keep it for later? I really want to eat it now. But I better save it for later. Not that one either. Could it be save like keeping you from danger? Plum, plum, plum. Ah! Oh! Help me! Help me! The monster is going to get me! I'll save you! Oh, take that! Yes, that's close. We'll hear about how God sent Jesus to a woman by a well, which is where people come to get water. Jesus spent a lot of time healing and teaching people the good news about God's kingdom in many places. On this trip, Jesus was traveling through a place called Samaria. Most Jewish people look down on Samaritans, people from Samaria. But Jesus didn't. When he got there, he went to a well right outside of town. This is where people would come to get water. At around noon, a Samaritan woman arrived at the well to get water. Just then, Jesus did something unexpected. It was one of the most amazing things he could have done. He asked the woman for a drink from the well. The Samaritan woman was surprised. She asked Jesus why he was asking her for a drink since he was a Jew and she was a Samaritan, and usually Jews didn't talk to Samaritans. But Jesus said, you don't know what God's gift is, and you do not know who was asking you for a drink. If you did, you would have asked him. He would have given you living water. The woman wanted the living water. She said, give me this water, then I will never be thirsty and I won't have to keep coming here to get water. Then Jesus shared something surprising with her. He told her lots of things about herself and her life, and she had no idea how he knew those things. She was amazed. How did he know all these things about her? Then Jesus told her that he was the Messiah, the promised savior everyone was waiting for. The Samaritan woman got so excited that she left her water jar and ran back to town to tell everyone the good news. Everyone in town was amazed and many believed in Jesus because of what the woman said. Jesus cared about this woman and spent time with her. He shared God's special message with her that he is the savior sent by God. That message is for everyone. It's for you and me too. Jesus cares about us and came to save us all. Well, friends, that's all the time we have today. Thanks again for coming to our tree house. Until the next time, remember, God sent Jesus to save us. Thank you.